Okay, so what's happening? Fam, LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die. Trying. You see the thumbnail. Baby daddy. Whoo. Anxiety. Baby daddy is moving on. See that last child support payment is about to about to get passed through. And who's the problem? See, baby daddies have become pseudo husbands. And the divorce is that last payment. That's the divorce. You got your alimony and, and your child support all, you know, monthly, right? Bi-weekly, however you want to call it, yearly, however you want to call it. And you got to play this game where you're single because you ain't with this guy. But you're with this guy because you're constantly playing games with this guy. Or you're constantly using him as a crutch in the dating market. And now, you know, you don't want to, you, you don't have to be with other men because you're getting a check to be single and be a mom. Be single first and be a mom second, right? So, but when that last, when you, when you count down them last few months, when them last payments hits, now... Nobody wants to talk about. And somebody, another brother brought that up. A lot of these Brazilian butlers, they coming out of these $300 checks people people have it monthly. That's supposed to be for your kids. Because now it's like, oh, huh, this kid ain't going to be here this much longer. I got to get this body right so I could get somebody now. Because, you know, after that last check, me and my baby daddy are divorced. For real. Now the kids ain't an excuse. See what I'm saying? At the, you know, even when there's animosity and tension and people are, you know, at odds in two separate ways, the one thing they got in common is that child of those children, right? So at some point, he might have to come right back for that for that baby. So and he's pseudo married to you because now you can you can't really move on, and most of y'all don't want to really move on. Most of y'all still smashing each other. So, you know, the last support payment and smashing each other for some people keeps the peace. Because if you both go into a drought, you can always call trusty, blah, blah, blah. Unless, unless one of y'all physically fell off. It's like, or the bridge is burned that bad where it doesn't happen. Because even with some of y'all who don't, who hate, who hate you, that, that ex, y'all still hate them and still be in bed with them, you know. And some of you idiots that made another kid with them. But it's not my point, right? It's, you know, let's extend this marriage. Because, you know, having a baby together is the new marriage. You, you, this, you're going to take care of this family over here. See, marriage is becoming a side family. And that last child support payment is when the side family ends. It's over with. And now you have the anxiety because now, you know, some of y'all probably hasn't paid attention to this. Sometimes when the support ends and it's over with, I don't know if y'all noticed this, but some of you people who've been at odds for years, all of a sudden have this kind of loving type of relationship and you, you want to know how the other person's doing, even if they married. Even, you know, even if they're single and even if they're in a relationship, now you want to be cool with them. You've been at odds for 14 of the 18 years. And now all of a sudden, when the last check hit, then how you doing? You looking nice. Okay, okay. All right. You know, because now the divorce is final. The government ain't in their business no more. And some of y'all try to extend it. To college age, because you know you need to get yourself ready for your hot milk summer, and it's in an anxiety. That's why you see, you know, more milfs and cougars trying to get their body right because now they back out on the market because they need another check. Uh, yeah, exactly, another check. And now, who can I find to do this? Because now, 
You get a baby daddy normally when you're young. When you're dealing with older people, when people are grown, they're not going to play these games with you. They can see the shenanigans coming a mile away. They can see you using your body as a tool to get bread, and they already got you uh, 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 budgeted into their system. Like, uh, this, mm -mm. after about $150, that's it. You ain't getting bi weekly checks. This is why you got people with this anxiety, and now they, they, you know, you got a lot of these older women trying to date younger men so they could. They, they they could trap a young guy in this situation. So he's her retirement plan. Y'all not slick. It's just anxiety. Your baby daddy's divorce. It's final. And when these young guys catch on to that, it's really going to be over. And then the anxiety is, I should have got married. You probably should have. Too late, though. But we out. Like, share, subscribe without trying. Peace.